My name is Rasini. Welcome back to West of Loathing. Uh, unfortunately, since I can't actually get the prompts from the grandma anymore, for this day at the very least, I can't really solve it. So between the episodes, I did pretty much nothing. Uh, instead, we're going to go through this one. Dink, Scotch Turkinson, drowned in a whiskey barrel. It's what he would have wanted. The ground here seems reasonably soft. We get two things of easy whiskey. Decent whiskey, brother. Old Dead Tom. Took us kind of long to get around to this. <laughs> Burying him a couple hundred years after his birth. Fred Deeks. Couldn't remember the rhyme about which snakes are poisonous. We get patent amenic. Cures poison. The substance cures poison by making you vomit. But luckily medical science has confirmed that vomiting is the cure to basically every type of poisoning. Nerald Flentz. Lived and he died. Screaming. Annette Jangle, first lady bicyclist to ride off of a cliff. We get riding boots. One maximum AP plus three speed. These boots are made for riding, but not the kind of riding you're thinking of. I was thinking of like horse riding or I guess bicycle. So never mind. It's, it's not the kind of riding I was thinking of. Fair enough. Lavender Crinks, inventor of the external combustion engine. <laughs> Doesn't seem like that'd be a job that... Keeps you alive for too long. We're reasonably sure he's dead. Shank Weems. Over here we've Vernon Pensacord. Professional, in quotation, sword swallower. Yep. You can't really be an amateur of that. Dynamite Jim Fresca. All the bits we could find. This tomb is big and fancy and has a door on the front. This tomb is big and fancy and has a door on the front. The door has a pretty sturdy looking lock on it. This tomb is big and fancy and a safe embedded in it. All right, we'll go for the highest one we can get into. You skillfully pick the lock. Inside the tombstone is a document with a weird little metal object. Read the document. The document describes a tontine, the burial wishes of Sam Feathersmith, and a weird sequence of letters. All right, maybe it's time to get my friggin' writing book back out. All right, let's write down the sequence of letters. Okay. Ton teen. Uh, Sam Feathersmith. Feathersmith. Smith. I'm very slow at writing. Uh, o H L G H E. Cool, cool. Huh. Inside the tombstone is a document and a weird little mental object. Let's take the object. It is a key fragment. This is a fragment of a key that you found in a big fancy tombstone in the hill. Big and fancy has a door in the front. There's a document. This document is for Chet Buttersley. Uh, describes a tontine. Okay, cool. It's the tontine is both of them. So Chet Buttersley. And it has B T L. I-T-R. All right. Take the object, another key fragment. Interesting. Assemble the key. You don't have all the pieces of the key. Yeah, I had to figure that was going to be the case. I need to get safe cracking as a skill. Not sure where I'll be able to pick that up. Xavier J. Hornhog. Ran for mayor. Right off a cliff. Gina Slapradish ate too many wasps. Lucky Vinny Pike. It's bound to run out sooner or later. Still hasn't died. Huh. Well done him. Hazel Batchley embroidered herself to death. That one guy. You know the one. Yeah, him. Bred Haggins. The most strikingly rat-faced man, man that any of us have ever seen. Stan Rietta Minkleston. Tried to eat a live eagle on a dare. We'll dig it up, get a handful of loose teeth. This skeleton doesn't seem particularly threatening, apart from being a general reminder of your own mortality. Uh, hello? Who are you? My name's Bernard, but shh, lower your voice, they'll hear us. Who, the cultists? Yeah. Not a fan? They're reanimating dead people's skeletons. I don't want to be reanimated, it sounds horrible. Uh, can you imagine? Having to walk around without your skin on? How embarrassing, not to mention cold. Sure, well, I mean, dying's hard enough. Let's come back to life when they got used to being dead, right? I could see that. Please, 
Can you do something? I don't want him to find me. Okay, I'll just let you know when it's safe. Great, thanks. I'll just hang back when the coast is clear. All right, where are these? Ah, cultists. Paulette Tootsbury, died of a disease we don't have a name for yet. Based on the components of the coffin, you'd have called it Exploding Skull Syndrome. Perletta Fink, Territorial Scoffing Champion. You're not going to get past this barrier of whirling bones without, well, making it so there's no barrier of whirling bones anymore. Shoot them. You draw your pistol and deftly shoot the uh, floating bones into bits that are too small to float. Susan Bongstrom. Boingstrom. Buried with her treasured collection of dog ears. The uh, these cultists look like they are barely maintaining control over that skeleton. Interrupt their ritual, naturally. You throw a rock at the skeleton, which instantly explodes. Wow, that must have been some real high-energy ritual they're performing. You jerk! We were using that skeleton! You guys are jerks for using a skeleton in the first place! Why, I order... Bing, bam, zoom, straight to the moon! Fight him. We got the jump on him this time. Alright, this is going to be blocking my shots, right? Yeah, a little bone barrier instead. I think... This will not end your turn, so I can increase my muscle mix, uh, moxicality and etc. Uh, Alright, let's use the strong medicine. Boom, plus three to all my stats. They got a lot of moxie, but I have to imagine they're going to be attacking me with their mix, uh, mysticality, rather. I kind of want to be able to destroy the area, if at all possible. Dynamite won't end my turn, but I can throw it over. I could just, like, super dynamite one of them out of existence. Right. I don't really want to shoot Nanny, but at the same rate, I'm not going to do anything with these bone barriers in the way. I guess they'll be skeletons, so they will be destroyed. Maybe I summon a snake. Oh, but my snake is going to be super weak. Fine, I'm gonna shoot Nanny. Wow, it actually destroyed that. Uh, that's not a skeleton. Okay, I can instantly destroy a skeleton, so I can remove the bone barrier. Good. Okay, we do have spooky resist. If we come back into the battle, we will have the ability to get away from that. Won't end your turn. Recover 10 HP. Okay, we'll do that twice. Can I smelling soaks myself twice as well? Yep. Because I need to get one more fan hammer. Beautiful. Now we should pretty much be down to the point that nothing can really harm us. Because it won't be able to outdo the damage that I'm going to heal. Yeah, we heal for exactly two more than we get hit for. And now for 21 more. This should be a quick fight now. Beautiful victory. We get a black hood for nine spell damage. This is the kind of hood that minions of a necromancer might wear. Or you could wear it. I guess. Now that you've got it, we've got another set of human ashes. You wrecked whatever foul sorcery they were trying to accomplish here, and then you wrecked their lives by ending them. There's a black book on a pedestal here. The Fundamentals of Nexmex gives you the raised skeletal buddy skill. Enough to get a single skeleton up and moving, at least. Seems like it's probably pretty dangerous. Yes, I'm going to read it. Alice's glare threatens to burn a hole straight through you. Better not be thinking of doing what it looks like you're thinking of doing. Relax, Alice. I can handle it. Fight fire with fire, right? But if you think, if I think for a second you're returning another necromancer, I'll be fighting fire with lead. It's cool. Don't worry. Oh, I don't get to read it if I say that. Are you certain? The dark arts are no laughing matter. This could really mess you up. 
Alice growls and gives you one of the hairiest of eyeballs. Read it, I said. Durr. The words crawl off the page and into your eyes like worms. The worms burrow into your bones, then whisper stuff about cool things you can do to other people's bones. You get Ray's skeletal buddy. You can ensorcel skeleton bones and then use them to summon skeletons to protect you in combat. Examine skeletal bones in your inventory to enchant them. As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. You don't feel so well. Your hair instantly... <laughs> Your hair instantly loses all of its color. You got a perk. White hair, negative three moxie. Hmm. That's not good. Peninsula Wackersley. Nice lady with a really unfortunate name. Peninsula Wackersley. No, I don't get it. Uh, fed room, nothing left, but booth, uh, boot and teeth. Uh, da -da -da, requires stench resistance. Okay, I can do that one. In fact, I have a gas mask I can use. Well, where is about, is it? Where's this gas mask? God damn. All right. We have stench resistance. We'll investigate it, get a discipline slip. Looks like one of the necromancer's cults has got written up. Two more of these and it'll be ritually eviscerated. Nothing personal, just corporate policy. We dig around in the detritus and get a little pink slip. All right, let's examine it. You read over the infraction cause uh, listed on the slip. It looks like one of the cultists was gathering dangerous mushrooms. Curious, you stick the slip into your journal. I should check that out. Okay, the necromancer's lair is west of the mountains. Da, da, da. You need someone to help you, someone smart, or who, someone who knows a lot about magic. Uh, you found a cryptic note about Hellcow. It must be near a powerful source of Hellcow energy. You found a dismal slip that mentioned dangerous mushrooms. If only you knew more about mycology. Nothing in here, but three bedrolls and a single stale smell. Alright, let's pop our hat back on. There you go, Popat. Haven't gone over this side, I believe. Nope, we did. All right. Hey, friendo, they're gone. I took care of them already. Great. Who? That's a load off of my mind, let me tell you. Here, you can have this worry stone. I don't need it now. It goes in your offhand, plus six moxie. This rock had a hole rubbed into it by incessant worrying. Fidgeting with it will stop you from looking so anxious all the time. I would like a stone like that, then. There you go. Get the flip, flip out of here. Where is our companion? Has she left yet? Does she hate us yet? It's all right. You look over and see if there's any trace of that necromancer. Right. Partner, what do you think we should be doing? Look for the mayor. Uh, Breadwood bunkhouse. Breadwood mayor. Ask for another suggestion. Lost Dutch oven mine. The traces of more El Vibrato technology. I mean, it is there. It's just I can't interact with it. We can go down to the Hellstrom Ranch. Fort Memorial or Petting Cemetery. Well, may as well go to the closest. You discover a new map location, the West Pole. Uh, we approach a weird clearing full of rocks. They make your ears ring somehow. That sounds like a good idea to go to. This yucca is straining against its own roots. A pile of weird rocks. Mess with them. Uh, these rocks are strange. They don't seem to weigh as much as they should, and they're sort of drawn towards each other. You can make an interesting can out of them. I'm going to make something suave. A cheeky gesture. You admire your handiwork. You get 100 XP. You get heavy trigger finger. Your trigger finger isn't fast or itchy, but it is very dense. Oh, cool. That's actually a perk. Can you build? Nice. Pile of weird rocks. Something suave. Cheeky gesture. Oh. Knock it over. Uh, something suave. Sassy face. Okay, so it's just the, the height that you can reach. 
fine. Something powerful, tall stack. We don't really get much, I guess. Uh, something mystical. Okay, do I have much to get all the way up to those kinds of levels? No, not really. That's too far out of my reach, I believe. All right. Let's just make a lot of tall stacks here. We'll come back later and fix them if we need to. Okay. Yay, there we go. It's our very own Stonehenge. <laughs> Alright, Hellstrom. Out of name. Interested in trading? You bet, Wandering Sally. Pickaxe. Work boots. No, thank you. Uh, lucky Marigold. We've already got something better than that. For that slot, I believe. Take a blank postcard. Ooh, carrot. Item drop bonus seems like a good idea. Fluvius. Right, we'll sell that. There, there were other couple of things that say just sell it. Although the thing that we just sold didn't say just sell it. So I guess, you know. I've already set a bad precedent here. Old wedding ring. Where are the other things that I picked up that specifically wanted me to just... Get rid of. Or stone I'm already holding. Handful of old coins. Gold tooth. I think that's about it, though. I'm gonna have a quick gander. Yeah, nothing. Or at least nothing immediately came to mind. Toasty. I'll actually take the lock, though. Just in case. Let's go to that Hellstrom Ranch. We keep trying to... Oh, god damn it. Uh, we get a Lodestone Ring, plus 20% to meat gains, as well as a can of oil. Sulfur match. And Lodestone Ring says, Lodestone is a rare mineral that's magnetically attracted to meat. It's a real treasure to a prospector and a real nuisance to a butcher. Get back on that trail. Okay. Ring this will attract the attention of at least one infernal cow. Hagas Agave. The only part of this shed that didn't burn down is the part the horseshoe was attached to. Guess it really is good luck. We get lucky horseshoe goes in your offhand for plus six pistol attack damage. Don't turn it upside down or all the luck will fall out because luck is apparently a fluid that only exists in two dimensions. It's a fair point to make. It's a portal to hell. You hear ominous mooing. You s uh, this sure seems like a powerful source of hell cow energy. So this is... Close to where the Necromancer is, then. Isn't that what we decided? That the Necromancer is near the Hellcow source of energy? It's not a skeleton? It kind of looks like a freaking skeleton to me. Rustbull. Okay, cool. Those are common, apparently. So I guess this is how you level up one of your other people that I could have taken from base. Woo! That's a lot of damage. Okay, Tainted Beefsteak Cow's Blood increases your muscle by 11, maximum HP by 25, but you shouldn't drink it. I guess if I was to eat or drink any kind of cow materials, that's when the other character would get angry at me. Uh, what's the name again? Susan Cochrane, you prep your skinning knife, but the in, but all the useful hide bursts into flame and withers away before you get a chance to collect anything. Hooray! Apparently. Okay, this one attacks using Moxie, which means it's not a threat to me at all. Roasted cow tongue, and got a soul fragment. We're going to get a lot of experience out of this, so we'll do this a bit more. Not too much, but a bit more. Because I do want to see if possibly this has some finish as well. Something that happens after we engage enough of them. 
Although it's starting to look like I might lose one. Putrid Cowbile, that's pretty good. For me, at least. Alright. Lockpicking Expertise. You know what? Let's level up that Lockpicking Expertise and then get the Ever Loving Hell out of here. Specifically, all the way back up to the Alexandria Ranch. Uh, as you're riding along, you randomly think about how sometimes one cowpoke will shoot another cowpoke's feet and yell, Dance! And usually it's a situation where the first cowpoke is being mean or threatening. But then you think idly... Could a fella do something similar except shooting in his own feet? And if he were a good enough shot, or a good enough dancer, give it a try. You fire at your feet for a while, dancing up a storm is a great combination of dancing practice and shooting practice. We get 30 experience. Alright, let's get all of the materials that leave in the bottom of this. Eh, eh. Pick the lock. Gold, metal, silver smithing. This book, written by expert jeweler Dabney Bronze. Details advanced techniques in, sm uh, in melting silver things and turning them into other things, uh, silver things. Rich Vein, Poor Vein. This is a copy of a popular financial advice book from a few years ago. It's rare now because of the various crusades that destroy every copy of it. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, it's the reference there. The greatest uh, love poem ever written. The dust jacket of this book is missing, so I can't tell you who, who wrote it. Let's read that. The love poem is so good. You're afraid to even read it because you might fall in love with the book. Fair enough. Ah, okay. We got Vein Glorious. I see your point. Uh, you know how to get a lot more meat from meat veins. Good. Increases meat gains from mining. Unfortunately, the book is so old and crumbly that reading it once causes it to be destroyed. So much for literary preservation. You can make extra silver bullets when crafting them. Hmm. That's rough. I don't even want that. But we've got it. You read the book and learn a lot more about silversmithing than you knew before. After you finish reading it, you absentmindedly drop it in a nearby mailbox and are unable to retrieve it. Happy birthday, Mr. Postman. It's got a ghost wood. Hmm? Oh, okay. We've seen this one before. So we'll just finish it. We won the shootout. Yay! What up, Ghostwood? Uh, you expect to just be able to walk straight through the door of a ghost building, but some force is preventing that. Guess you could knock? On the force? Your fist makes a distant, echoey plap sound on the barroom door, and a ghostly voice comes out of nowhere. Howdy, a fella? New in town? Yeah, I was wondering if- Sorry. Can't do business with you until you have a visit identification card. Ain't supposed to talk to you, really. Okay, how do we get one? Try the town hall down in the end of the street. Alrighty, then. Huh. All the buildings in this town are weird, translucent. Like, oh, ghosts. It's literally a ghost town. All right, fair enough. Someone's mounted a pencil sharpener on the back of the balcony post for a reason. Sharpen a pencil. You haven't got any pencils to sharpen, unfortunately. Go away. Excuse me. You ain't authorized. Shoo. That's rude. The ghostly jailhouse seems to be stacked up with boxes of old papers. You don't see any ghost criminals, but there isn't anything longer than a life sentence anyway. Nobody's home. Excuse me? Never heard of you. Jeez, everyone in this town has the same voice. This ghostly general store seems to be selling mostly office supplies. Ghost office supplies. We're closed. Excuse me? Closed, I said. No visitor ID, no sale. Town hall. Looks to be the ghost of the town hall. Like a regular town hall, except, you know, the whole ghost thing. Ah, a visitor. You'll be needing a visitor identification card. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I'll be happy to fill out the forms. Most living people have trouble holding the pages. You've been in number three pencil. If you're filling in the form, can't you use your own pencil? I will be, but the instructions say very clearly the applicant must have a number three pencil. Number three pencil? Isn't the number two pencil the usual kind? I suppose the number three pencil is 50% more official. Well, okay. Where can I get one? Try the Department of Requisitions just next door. You mean the general store? Yeah, it's a little more specific these days, but yeah. Alrighty then. Hmm. They won't give me one. It won't give me a pencil without a visitor ID. No, certainly not. They are unauthorized to deal with anyone who does not have ID. So how am I supposed to get a number three pencil? I suppose I could issue a temporary visitor permit. 
You don't need a pencil for that one. What's your last name? Tame. Alvaro. Last name. Golf. Golf. Wait. Uh, shot right or slap shank. Uh, last name. First name. Name. Bobcat, Goldthwait, Slim, uh, Pico. See, the other ones I can't match because I didn't remember the actual names that came up. Middle name is... Marshall. Great, where are you from, Marshall? Name, Marshall, last name. Little farm outside Boring Springs. I'm staying in dirt water at the moment. I like wherever the wind takes me. I'm staying in dirt water at the moment. Ooh. Well, if you set your sights low enough, you'll never be disappointed. All right, how many bars are in the window of the adjunct department of records? What? It's a quiz. See if you've been paying attention to care about our real little town. Instead of just breezing through, show your dedication and all. Eight. You're a sigh. And the sound of paper being torn up. Nope. Go count them again. Marshall is my middle name. Good. The jailhouse has one, two, three, four, five, six, and ten total. Got it. Okay, here we go. Slapshank, Shot Right, Goldthwait, Alvaro, and Tame. Yeah, let's just go with. Can I change my middle name by just choosing a different one? I am Justice. Okay, cool. Uh, dirt water. Six. You are correct. Everything seems to be in order. You get a Ghostwood Visitor's Permit. It's just a temporary permit uh, card. When you apply it for an actual Visitor's ID card, it has name Justine. Justine is Justice. Written on it. It's probably already expired. It expires in 11 seconds. Need number three pistol. Okay, uh, 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 last name. Uh, no, it expired. Shit. Fine. Okay, here we go. It's three, five, three, five, four. Said Justine. Oh shit. Uh. Okay, three. What? How did it expire? I just got there. <sighs> Tame trouble pudding. Little farm outside Boring Springs. That's nice. There's one. All right. Spice in 11 seconds. Here we go. He he. What? What? God damn it! One, 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 eh. one, 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 one. Did I get it? Why did I not get it? It exited the it, it exit the prompt too early. No pencils to sharpen. Damn. Am I just supposed to rush? One, 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 one. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe there's somewhere else you can find a pencil around here. There we go. Okay, fine. Good lord. <sighs> right. Jail. Okay, none of these are giving it to me. Sharpen a pencil, but it hasn't got any pencils sharpened. It's your partner. Howdy, partner. <sniffs> Terrific. People coming back from the dead was bad enough. Now we've got to hold on dead town. I don't think this is the same thing. These are ghosts, not skeletons. Huh. So just see a bunch of houses that have been stripped down to the studs and beams? Yeah. Then it'll be good. We'll know that we have a necro-architect on our hands. 
Maybe there's just like a pencil leading about here. Ooh, it's a regular cactus. Well, the ghost of a regular cactus. The ghost of a regular cactus being stabbed with the ghost of a pencil stabbed into it. What? You didn't know that pencils have ghosts? What do you think ghost writers use? But um. Time to sharpen it up. Sharpen ghost pencil. You stick the number four pencil uh, into the sharpener and grind a quarter off of it. Should make it a number three or pass for a number three at least. That's a number four pencil. No, it's 75% of a number four pencil. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything about this in the bylaws. Very well, I suppose we must do. Let's get you started on that permit. Beautiful. Now we can actually go for our name. Last name, name. Four. Name, justice, last name. That's not what your temp... Oh, fucking shit. Great. Is this going to rename my character? Right, here we go. Alvarado Pico Danger. Wait, what? Puddin Trouble Tame. There we go. Sorry. Sai, so we are tame. Puddin Trouble. We are from Boring Springs, apparently. There was six. Nope. It was six last time. I didn't ask the same questions last time. How many bars are in the windows of the adjunct department of records? Adjunct department of records. Windows? So I guess 10? Oh, God. Okay. Tame. Puddin. Trouble. Boring Springs. Ten. Alright, correct. All in order. Allow me to officially welcome you to the town of Ghostwood. Here's your visitor's ID. Say, was it always called Ghostwood or yes? Total coincidence. Huh. Knock, knock. Hello, Mr. Tame. How can I be of service? Oh, never mind. Something I can get for you, Mr. Tame? I can't think of anything. Mr. Tame, was it? What can I do for you? Nothing, I guess. Department of Records, how can I help you, Mr. Tame? I can't think of anything. What can I do for you, Mr. Tame? I need a drink immediately. No problem, beer or whiskey. Beer. All right, you just got to take down your name for the requisition slip. Last name, Tame. First name, Puddin. Middle name, Trouble. Let me match that against your visit ID. Yep, yeah, that'll be 103 meat, including deposit on the bottle. Buy it. Fine. Bottle of ghost beer. Eh, that's pretty good. Need a drink immediately? We'll take whiskey. Once more problem, I'm out of whiskey requisition forms. Mind going down to the administration, picking up one for me. So I find, don't mention it. Uh, is it here? Whiskey requisition form for the bar down the street. Bar, oh, you mean the Department of Libations. Yes, I can get you a whiskey requisition form, is what I'd like to say, but I'm out of form transfer envelopes. Can't transfer a form to a different department without a form transfer envelope to make sure it doesn't get tampered with during the transport. You must be joking. No, sir, this is serious business. I'll tell you what, though. They should have a supply of spare form transfer envelopes at the Department of Requisitions next door. All right, which color? Color? Naturally. Different colors for different purp uh, purposes. Tan for regular interdepartment transfers. Blue for extra municipal transfers. Red for emergencies and greens for bribes. We'll take tan. Mm, so we're out of those. Blue. And technically extra municipal, since I'm just a visitor, so give me a blue one. That refers to the form's final destination. Where are you taking it? The Department of Libations. Nope, that's intermunicipal. Uh, intermunicipal. I'll give you that one. All right, green. Ooh, looking to shortcut the system. That'll be 3,000 meat. What for? Well, if you're going to go around bribing people, I may as well get my cut. Forget it. The more I have to deal with the bu uh, bureaucracy, the more of the emergency this becomes. Give me the red one. Sounds reasonable to me. For transforming forms in an emergency, or was it the forms that are the emergency? 
Okay. Here's the transfer envelope. Ooh, a red one. You must really need that drink. Here you go. One whiskey requisition form. Beautiful. Here we go. We're going to get a whiskey. Oh, God. Tame. Puddin. Trouble. Sorry, fresh out of whiskey. I hereby vow to destroy this place. I will raise the buildings and salt the earth. No, no, I don't get bent out of shape. Just go tell the Department of Requisition. They'll set it up with a fresh case. Ugh, fine. The bar, I mean the Department of Libations, is out of whiskey. Ah, oh, thanks for letting us know. We'll get a case sent over. I have nothing to fill out. Nope, that'll be handled on the delivery. Great, in two days. Don't look at me that way. There's a lot of processing and forms for booze delivery. God damn it. I need a drink immediately. Did that whiskey show up yet? Nope. Try again tomorrow. Okay. We're two days away from getting our whiskey. Just relax all. Two days. We will be thoroughly wetting our whistle. All right. Down to the petting cemetery. Buffalo Pal. Eh, continue where we're headed. We'll see that later. Howdy! Welcome to Gorman Lancaster's one and only petting cemetery. It's educational and entertational. And only 500 meat for a lifetime pass. Entertational? Look, don't knock the patter, okay? Petting cemetery? That's right! A wide variety of guaranteed genuine animal skeletons and you're free to touch them to your heart's content. Well, with your hands, that is. No riding. Can I feed them? You can try! Neat. Interested in a fella? Membership? That's exorbitant. It's a lifetime membership. If I were younger, if you were younger, it'd be worth more. Fair enough. Wonderful. Just hold still while I memorize your face. Hmm, uh-huh. Okay. Go right in and thanks for your patronage. You're welcome. Anything else I can do for you, fella? Nope. See ya. Nothing to harvest down here. Beauty. Let's go in. Uh, ooh, increase your speed for the rest of the day. This is the skeleton of a jackrabbit in a pinch. The jackrabbit can help you change a wheel on your wagon. This block says it's a pack rat skeleton, but there's nothing here. Nuts. Increase your armor for the rest of the day. Okay, so pack rat. I guess that's a mechanic that hasn't been included in the game yet. So once the skeleton is there, it will be able to buff our ability to deal with things. Pack rat means it's probably like more bag space, I'm guessing. The skeleton of a desert tortoise. It is currently in slightly less of a hurry to get places than when it was alive. Increases your uh, armor. Okay. The plot says it's a buffalo skeleton, but there's nothing here. You're very buffaloed by the fact buffalo uh, to, to buffalo in that fact is more to bother effectively. It's why buffalo, 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 buffalo is a sentence. Because it is buffalo from buffalo, buffalo, buffalo from buffalo. It's, it, there's, there's a string that makes that an actual uh, grammatically correct sentence made entirely of buffalo. This is an owl skeleton. If you want to know how many fireballs it takes to get to the center of an enemy skeleton, just ask an owl. Take a picture of it. With a click and a flash, you take a photo for Hobart Buppet. A desert ape skeleton, but there's nothing here, and you're also pretty sure there's nothing about a desert ape. No, no desert ape, brother. This is a bobcat skeleton. Bobcats are known for their ferocity, and the weird high-pitched noises they make when telling jokes. That's gold to wait for you. This is a hawk skeleton. Hawks resent, uh, resent being mistaken for falcons, and will shoot at you if you do it too many times. We get the boon of the hawk. You can see every prairie dog within 400 yards from here. In related news, there's a really surprising amount of prairie dogs within 400 yards from here. Must be a convention. You gently stroke the former animal's skull and slide on out. Where is Hobbit Buppet? In town? You in town, Hobbit Buppet? I think Hobbit Buppet's in town. Hello, welcome to the store. Right, cool. Let's send some stuff via the post office. I'd like to send a postcard. Beauty. Nothing else with which I can interact. Jail, we're already all done with. 
Hot dog. Grady fine leather. Okay, Grady's fine leather. We need to get a fine bandolia. No, no, no. We need a sharpening strop. There we go. Just in case we change our melee weapon, which we are likely to do. All right. Where is this Hobbit Buppet? Do I have to ask? I think I might have to ask where Hobbit Buppet is. Let's cheat in poker for a moment. All right, play poker. Ante up. Okay. Cheat. You get caught? What? Let's forcefully raise. Forcefully strategize. No, we lost. Cheat. We get caught? Why are we getting caught? This is not okay. I should not be caught. All right, ridiculous. I'm walking away. I don't have any more money. I'm supposed to be able to cheat. Oh, never mind. I leveled that up and now I... Okay, cool. That's my bad. Hmm... I do need a little more horn swoggling and foraging. Let's go to level three of foraging. Just because I interact with foraging much more often than anything else here. Uh, need help with anything? Yep, I have no clue where to find him. Da, da, da. It was a wild place back then. Well, it was while we were here. Nice. All right. Come on. Tell me about my side quests. Thanks for the reminder. Alice, for the Breadwood Bunkhouse is where he is. Beautiful. Saddle up and let's head over. Okay. Bunkhouse, 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 bunkhouse. Found it. Talk to him. Howdy name. Managed to take a picture. Totally did. Oh, will you look at that? What a beaut. Well, thank you, name. I ain't got much reward, but I imagine you'll get some experience points out of it. See ya, hobbit. Still enjoying that owl skeleton picture? Oh, yeah? Okay, then. You've already footlocked this footlocker. Hmm... Tombstone pizza. You take the pepperoni mold and put it on pizza crust. Okay. So this foraging might end up paying for itself. It was, what, like, a, I want to say 500, 600 to get all of it. So as I loot 60 things, if I forage 60 things, I'll get enough experience points from those forages that I will make back the investment. All right. I don't really want to skip a day, so I'll pretty much do everything that I can beforehand. Jumble deck. Rocks. Probably some mine leavings that got piled up here. Search the rocks. You poke around in the rocks, but don't find anything of interest. Jumble deck mine. Foreman's office. Barrel full of old grease. What, just grab a handle? No. Get Blossom Gin. You get a silver tooth skull. Wow, that's a little ominous, don't you think? I agree. I meant from, like, a medical standpoint. Oh, well, hand it over. Hmm, nice silver tooth. Hmm. It's a little grim to find a human skull just stashed in the pile of rocks. Unless maybe it has a very small burial amount? Considering the fancy silver tooth, that's not outside the realm of possibility. Damage to the occipital bone around the edges of the forum and magnum. And heavy damage to the left temporal bone. Looks like it was hit with a blunt but flat edge, a couple three inches across. Wow, what does that mean? In layman's terms, someone hit this fella with the wide end of a pickaxe and knocked his head clean off. Jeez, where's the rest of the skeleton, though? Why is just a skull here? That, I can't tell you. I have to imagine that we're about to engage ourselves in the quest of the area for the moment, though. That's all we have time for. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been West of Loathing. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.